you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we're treating an interesting topic which is isometric projection but in this aspect of the tutorial we'll be converting orthographic projection into isometric projection now if you look at the right hand side of the screen you see a question in orthographic view where we are given just the the two view of a diagram right and this is in third angle projection by looking at the symbol here telling us that what it is in third angle projection meaning that the plan is the one on top and the elevation is the one under and this is the views of a camshaft bearing right in orthographic projection now we want to draw it in isometric projection now the first thing you do when you hear the word isometric projection is for you to draw your isometric axis right you take your 60 degrees square you draw a vertical line this way that will be representing the height you can see that and you draw a horizontal line a line let me call it the x-axis that will representing the length right and we'll be drawing the other line this way that will be representing the width right so this is what we have here now after you've done that the next thing that you'll be doing is to get the entire height and for you to get the entire height of this figure is to look at the front elevation right and if you look at from here to here we're having 45 so i'm going to measure from here upward to be what 45 0 to what 45 You can see that and for you to get the length you also look at the front elevation now if you look at the front elevation closely there's no length there so the plan will assist you in getting the length of what of the front elevation now if you look at the plan right from this end here to this point here is 45 plus 40 which is what 85 and from here to here is given to be what? It's given to be 10. So 85 plus 10 is what? 95, right? So my entire length here is given to be what? 95. From 0 to 95. You can see that. And the other this length here, the width, if you can check the plan for you to get the width you need to check the word the plan so from here to here is 120 right that is from this center of this circle to the next center of the other circle is 120 now what is the radius of this circle that is 10 and we have two radiuses radius here 10 and radius here 10 that is what 20 right so 20 plus 120 will give us what 100 and what 40 right so i'm going to measure 140 from here 140 from here so this is from zero to 140 you can see that yeah now doing that i will now project this upward project all those distances placing my uh set square on my t-square and I'll start taking this thing upward I'll go to the other side again upward you can see that 
and I'm going to close them up. So with what I did here, that I did 30, 30 with my 60 degrees set square, I'll come here also, I'll repeat the same thing here too. I'm going to draw 30, right? This must close up here. And I'll come here also, I'll do 30 here too. You can see that? So let me close it up too. And I'll do the same thing here too. On this point, I'll measure 30. Right? And I'll close it up too. You can see that? So this is the first thing you will do by bringing out the image, right? The full image. So from this box here, I'll start carving out the shapes here. This is one of the most efficient way in drawing your isometric projection, right? So first of all, bring out the box, right? From here, you start carving out the what, the shape. Now let's see. Since we have a circle here, if you look at this object very well, this um, figure very well, you discover that it is a symmetrical object. Why I mean symmetrical? If I split this into two, let's say the plan, into two, what I will see at my left hand side will be what I will see at my right hand side, right? Now what I'm going to see, or what I'll see at the top will be the center I'll see at the bottom, just like you can see on the screen, right? So it is what? It is symmetrical. Is that taken now? Now, I'll go to the center of the figure. Since from here to here is 140, I'm going to take half of it, which is what? 70. So from 0 to 70. From 0 here to 70 is half of it. You can see that? And I am going to draw a line this way. To represent the center now the next thing is i want to draw that curve here is that the key but the distance between this from this point to this point is 60. so what will i do i'm going to measure what i'm going to measure 30 with my compass this way i'll take my compass and i'll measure 30 from 0 to what to 30 right so when i place it at the center here i will mark 30 and what 30 so from here to here is what is 60. now the next one is from this point to this point this semicircle you see here in isometric it will be a semi ellipse right and the radius the diameter there is 32 meaning that the radius is what 16. So I'm going to measure 16 on my meter rule, 0 to 16, right? And this is how you draw a semi-ellipse on an isometric block. So I'll place it here. I'll draw an arc this way. Then I'll come here also. I'll mark here too. I'll come here also. I'll mark here too. With the same radius I mark here too. You can see that? So I'll use it to form a box out. So if I place it this way, I'll form the box out from this point. I'll draw this. And I'll draw this. And I'll close it up using ordinate method of construction. I'll draw this. And I'll draw this. You can see that? Now the next thing is you join the longest diagonal. From here to here is longer than from here to here. So I'm going to join those two points this way. Like this. Passing through the center. You can see that and i'll take my rule and i'll join this end to this end 
I see that and also this end to the other end that again or once I've gotten this I'll just place my compass at this point you can see that then I'll move it to the other point any of the two you want to do now in doing this so I'll take my compass right where it intersect at this point I'll place my compass there then I'll take it to this point to this end point here hope you can see that and I'll draw you can see and I'll come to this other end here I'll place my compass there I'll take this point and I'll draw right you can see that now that is what we have there and I'll bring this point downward from here I'll take it down so proceed to discover that from here to here is conjoined and from here to here is joined so I'll take my C squared and I'll join now I mark 60 initially so from here I'll join this point to this point and from here I'll join this point to this point that again then I'll bring those two side outward this way and here also I'll bring it outward this way right and the thickness there look at the elevation looking at it from this side which is here is 32 right so I'm going to measure from this point to this point 32 32 so from here, this is 32 here, 32, you can see that, and I will join it together, from here, I will join this point, straight down to this point, right, and I will also join this point, straight down to this point including here straight down to here you can see that now the next thing i'm going to do is i will measure a height the thickness from here to here is 20 and i'll measure a height 20 upward anywhere of my choice and i measure the height of what 20 with the help of my uh instrument from this point to this point here is 20 right and I'll just take my faint line I'll just take my faint line this way before that I'll just bring it down first of all faint line I'll bring it down to faint line and I'll bring it down to faint line so I'll take this to this point right and I'll also take this to this point and also I'll also take this to this point right so what I will now do next is this I'll bring the center line downward. This center line, I'll bring it downward. And I'll take it forward. You can see? Now, if you look at it closely, right? If you look at it closely, I will take here also, I'll close it up. 
or and or so I'll bring that center line to come touch here now if you look at this figure here you see a web right this thing that looks like right angle triangle is a web there now it's touching from the top from this top here which is this top you're seeing here is touching the base here right which is what you're seeing but we don't know the distance the way you look look is from here from this point to this point is 10 then another 10 again that is what 20 so i'm going to measure 20 backward so i'm going to measure 20 backward from 0 to 20 this 20 here and i'm going to draw my horizontal line across that point this way all right so on that point i will measure bring out the web so what is this, the thickness of the web there that is 10 so i'm going to measure 10 on my meter row half of 10 that will be 5 measure half of 10 that will be what 5 all right and i'll place it at this point i'll mark five and I also what mark five i'll come here to i'll do the same thing i'll mark five and also here i'll mark five i'll take my meter rule and connect those two points together from this point straight down to this point From here straight down here and from here straight down here you can see that and I'll bring it down to from here straight down here and this will come here from here straight down here is that the key and I'll close here up too from here will be closed up you can see that and we'll proceed so the next thing is at the outer part here right this outer part here this is the center of the line you are going to measure um 12 a thickness of 12 that is 6 6 just measure to get that zero to six right and I'll place it at this point I'll mark six and I'll also mark six meaning that from the beginning here to this point here from here to here is twelve or better still you place your compass this your rule your rule this way and you mark six to the left and you mark six to the right is that the key and you can just stick in it once and for all right that is the thread there and you bring it down this way And you bring it down to this way you can see that and the next thing is you are going to move this inward this way a little bit and this inward this way a little bit and you measure another what another 10 so again you measure 10 so if i measure 10 that is from here to here which is the 10 so I'm going to measure the 10 here from 0 to 10. Right? And I will take this to that point. As you can see in the diagram from the plan, I'm going to measure from here to here. Right? I'll do the same thing here too. Let me transfer the point from here to here. So meaning that from here to here is also 10. So I'll do the same thing here too.
Now on that point, on that line, I will not draw an horizontal line this way. On that point, faint line. You can see that. So we are giving that from this point to this point, which is these two ends, is given to be fifty, right? So I'm going to take half of it, which is what, which is twenty-five. So from zero to twenty-five, and I'll place it at the center point here. I'm going to mark. 25 to the left and 25 to the right so i'm going to connect those two points together with my meter rule or with my c square from here to here and from here to here you can see that then the next thing is i will not take it in with my faint line first of all i'll take this with my faint line first of all this way I'll take this two inward two. I'll come here two. I'll take this inward two. You can see that, and I'll bring this down. Let's close them up. Right, then I'll take in here two, and uh, I'll bring this down two. Then, with the help of this, I'll close this up. It can't flow through here because of what? This is a block, so it will be covering it. And I'll close it up too. Right? And I'm going to close here up too. Let me bring this out a little bit. So I'm going to close it up too. Close it up to then I'll close it up to you can see that now I can just take this in too. So let's start now from this point from the plant here to the center of the circle is 40. So from here to the center of the circle is what is 40. So I'm going to measure what 40 from this point from 0 to what to 40. This is 40 here. You see that? So I'll just use my meter rule, my set square, extend this line a little bit. So see my meter is 40, right? What I'll do is I'm going to draw it out to intersect with this point here that we have. Is that the key? So I'm going to draw it out this way. So I'll do this and you do this. So we intersect here, right? Is where I am focusing on. Is where I'm focusing on. So the radius of that circle there, of that arc there, is 10, right? So look out, you need to pay attention to this aspect here. I will now take my compass and I'll measure 10. 0 to what? To 10. You can see that? And I'll place it at this point. I'll take it in. 10 in. And another 10 in. I'll do it both left and right i'll come here also i'll measure 10 in another 10 in All right i'll come here i'll do both left and right because i want to bring out my box i need the ordinate method of what of construction is that the key i need the ordinate method of what of construction So from what we have here, I will not bring out that box. Place my my T square this way and come here and draw my line here across this point. Draw this one too across this point. Then I'll 
particular term up at this point Get that again but well, before i do that i bring this one out too from here then i'll close it up to bring out that box all together this is what we have here and this is what we have here right so if i should do this here i'll come here too i'll do the same thing so we know that from here to here is still the 10. am i correct from here to here is 10 and here to here is also what 10 and 10. so let's close them up That again, so let me confirm that again. It is 10. If I come here, I'll measure 10. Right? And 10. Ten and ten. This is what we have here, right? So I can just bring this one down too. Because let's bring this down and I'll bring this down. Right? I'll bring this down too. Let's close them up. Right, then I'll bring here down. Let me extend this a little bit. And I'll bring it down. Then here down too. So look at what we have here. This point you're seeing here is the section for my this circle you're seeing here. Is that the key now? So I want to construct an arc here. So I'm going to take my compass, my um, set square, join the longest diagonal. Looks like what I did here. I'll repeat it here too. I'll do here the same thing too. I'll do here to the same thing too. And I'll do here to the same thing too. You can see that? And the next thing I'm going to do is I'll join from this point to this point. And I'll join from this point to this point. You can see that? I'll do the same thing too. I'll join from this point to this point and I'm going to join from this point to this point can I see that so where it meets here is a point and where it meets is another point where it meets here is a point and where it meets is another point so I'll take my compass right now I'll place it at this point here and I'll draw a semicircle from here. To, can you see that? I'll draw this. Right? And I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing here on this point. I'll draw another arc here. Now stop here. 
that again. I will now connect from this point because you look at now from this center point you're seeing here to this point here is from here to somewhere around here. So I'll just connect it straight down with my metal rule. You can see that? I'm connect it straight down with what? My metal rule. Then the next one is where this line will connect is somewhere around here but we don't actually know the distance but it's given here that is from here to here is from here to here which is from here somewhere around here and that is what 12 i'm going to measure 12 millimeter right that is where i will now connect this from you here to this point You can see that now the next thing is we know that here there's a fillet here right and it's so small so all those do is i'll just use my hand now just connect it this way it's so small so i'll just use my hand there right so I'll just connect from here to here And this will come down here this way too. Right? And this is coming here. So here it's coming down. Right? So there's a fillet here too. I'll just come here and I bring it down a little bit to this way it's connecting right I just use my hand and just connect that point so let's move now the next one is what I, I did here I must do it here also is that again so I don't have to stress myself by doing all this stress anymore i'll just um transfer those points and i place it on my t square this way i'll transfer that point from here to here same thing i'm saying from here to here right so this point here is this point here and this point here is this point here so what i'll do is i'll take i need these other end points that i used to get this arc I need this one on here too. So if I just move my point from here, I draw a straight line where this line meets here is where I need. So I just take my compass on this point where it meets to this point here. And I'm going to draw. Where it meets. Let me confirm that very well. So it's meeting here. So let's come from here to this point. I'm going to draw. Right, then this on this point to this point. I'll stop here. So this is where I'll connect this to this. I see that, and also I'll just take this one here to this point. I see that and I'll move this one backward this way where I can bring this straight down because you check here from here to here straight down you can see that so this is coming straight down
and close it up. Can you see that? Now the next thing that we will be doing here is this. I can just connect this point here to here. Um, here to here. Here to here. Here to here. And here to here. You can see that? Then we we'll move forward. What I did here, I'll do the same thing here. Just take your compass, all right? You place it at this end point here. At this end point here, and you connect this, right? We don't really we need it from here to here. Straight line. Straight line first. Then here, this point. You see that? And I'm going to join from this point, just like I told you, they're symmetrical to this point here. You see that? And this distance here, let me just take this in a little bit, faint line to this point here. I'll just transfer the point from here to this line here, right? This is where I'm going to join from this point to this point, but it will be from here because it can't pass through the figure here, it is a solid. So I can now take in this. Can I see that? Now the next one is I'll transfer the point. This point here will be coming straight down. All right? And I'll just take um, this other point too. Here will come straight down. So what I'll do is I'll just take my mark from here and I'll just take this point here and I'll just draw. You see that? So this is coming straight down from here to this point. Then this is coming from here. So this is coming from here. And here. You see that? I'll not go in. Now we're not done. And I'm going to kick in this point to from here to here. So what is remaining is this circle you're seeing here, these two circles you're seeing, which will be somewhere around here. So I can easily use my, this is too small, so I can easily use my um, French curve. So let me teach you on how to use the French curve here. See the diameter there is given to be 10. So I'll look for 10 here. So this is a diameter of 10 on my French curve, right? So I'll just place it in this way, ensure that these two ends will be at these two end here. So when I place it this way, You must be very careful. And I'm not doing this. So I see that. I'll come here also, do the same thing. You must be very careful. And I have this. You can see that. So, this is the isometric projection of the view that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen 
and uh, don't forget to give out your dimensioning is that the key don't forget to give out what your dimensioning when you are done so dimension let me give for instance now i know that uh, i want to dimension it i'll know from this point from this point to this point i'll measure it right you know it is 45 now from the elevation so what you're saying in the elevation this is our core we have the 45 you can see that and all that you can do so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe share and also comment and just comment on the section below thanks for watching